I'm going to add it in. And what I've been doing is every time I... Oh, oh they're leaving. See how they leave what's going on? I don't want to disturb... Put my gloves. Oh, hundreds. Of... Look at this. If you throw kitchen scraps away, then you are throwing away money. And let me show you something that will just blow your mind. How you can grow so much with something that costs nothing. Oh, let's just get into it. Hi, it is Robbie from Southern California. And you know that less than two weeks ago, I set this up. This is the picture. And that is where I'm composting in place. It's like a two system, but it's not. It's better. It's easier. The pitcher falls deep down into the tote and the worms get to go back and forth. Microbes, all of mother nature's wonderful critters are gonna go in there and break that down and feed the plant. Look at the plant. I don't know if you remember it last time. Look, we've already got fruit growing here. Look how beautiful it's just starting the flower. Look how healthy it looks just by adding in that picture. Now, what I'm gonna do with you is I wanna remove the picture. Now, I wanna do it gently because I want you to see what's inside. So right now, I should have taken this leaf off. I know I'm supposed to do it with gloves and I have not. I'm gonna add it in. And what I've been doing is every time I take off a leaf, I add it in there. I break it up and put it in there. I don't know what's in there. It's in there snug, but I'm hoping hoping that when I pull it out, I'll be able to gently put it back. And I'm trying to do this all one-handed. It's just me and my phone and you. So let's see if we can gently get this out because I do want to be able to put it back. Now see all here, I want you to see this. See all this here? That's the roots from this plant. This plant is going crazy trying to get to the pitcher. So I'm gonna get the pitcher out. We're gonna look inside and see what happened to all the kitchen scraps. Because I'm going to tell you, when you see this, you're not going to throw any kitchen scraps or leaves away. And we've got a lot of different methods of using the leaves. Right now, when it comes to composting it, this is what the plant needs. I know a lot of you trim them and throw them out. But here's the thing. What would happen in nature? They would just dry up and create more soil for the plant right in the same spot it's growing. So why not help it along? Set up something that's going to bring more of the wonderful critters of nature to help feed your plant. And it could be a squash, it could be a kale plant, it could be anything, a tomato plant that you want. It can even be flowers if you want your flowers to burst into beautiful color. So let's get this out. Now, what I want you to do is go back and check the video out if you haven't seen it so you know how easy it is to make it with a $1 pitcher. You can get yourself a fancier one, taller one, bigger one. You can go as high as $2 and even three. And you know what? Thrift stores have them for next to nothing. You probably have one in your cupboard you've had for years you're not using. So there are so many ways to get a picture. Now I wanna make sure that I do not disturb the hole because I wanna bring it back. Let's do it this way. Ooh. Ooh, there's water down there still, which is good. See, it's draining out of the pitcher, which has got a lot of holes in it, say, and it goes in there. Now, why is there a little bit of water in there? That's really good for you to see there because my totes retain a little bit of water. See the tote here? The holes are up about an inch. And this is why here in Southern California, at 100 degrees, we can still be growing all this beautiful food watermelons, tomatoes, pepinos, flowers, kale, all kinds of squash. All right, strawberries are in the tower there. But I can grow anything I want in here, provided the plants don't run out of water. So this is what we're gonna do. So let me set this up. And this is how I garden here. Off the ground, no tree roots, and I control everything with water. So let's get this stand set up and let the helicopter fly by. So now you and me are gonna peek in here. It's been set up for, I think in less than two weeks now. Oh, oh, they're leaving. See how they leave? I'm hoping you can see that. See that? Coming out of the holes, it's like, uh-oh, somebody disturbed our home. Normally I would not do this, but I just want you to see what's going on. I don't wanna disturb worms, but this is to show you how quickly something like this works. 
Oh, my. They found their way in here. I did not. Look at this. Oh, I'm going to have to grab the camera and show you. Let me get the gloves off. This is unreal. Now, if I left them here, they would crawl out and go into the ground. Now, they would die because the ground is too dry. So I'm going to have to make sure I get them in fairly quick. But let me put my gloves over to the side here and show you what is really going on. This is unbelievable. This surprised me because it's been less than two weeks since the video went up. And I had just set that up days earlier. Can you see all this? I mean, there's, I'm going to say there's hundreds. Of, look at this. This is wonderful. Now, if you were setting up a new tote, you could take part of this and move it. Oh, look at that. All different color worms, all different types. A little roly-poly, too. Look at that. I'm going to actually take the roly-poly and put him in the planter. But look at this. There's nothing wrong with the roly-poly, but I'm just moving them. See, the eggshells are still there. Now, they use the eggshells. The eggshells are very important because it creates air space in there. If it was compacted and turned into muck, they wouldn't be able to move around. They need space to crawl and get around to what they're devouring. But this is unbelievable. This is a surprise to me. I can't believe this. Oh my goodness. I really don't like putting them all back in the same pot, but boy, am I gonna have to make sure there's teeny ones. Oh my goodness this is beautiful now I'm gonna put this all back because I want it to do its thing there and I'm gonna leave it just the way it was except I will be adding in some more leaves whether I do it now or soon because it's gonna need it but this is like wonderful now keep in mind when you check something sometimes you look and you saw them coming through the holes and leaving they'll leave right away and then once they feel safe kind of like animals out in the wild you see a rabbit he sees you, he runs and hides, and then as soon as you leave, he comes back. Well, they do the same thing. So now I've really disturbed them. So let me get them back in. You know what, you can watch me do that. Let me put you back in the tripod. And let me step you back a little bit. And I'm gonna get them all shoveled back in because I want them to be happy. I gotta put my gloves back on. No particular reason, I do not mind getting my hands dirty. 30 is okay, but if I'm going to touch my camera, then I'm going to have an issue. So let me get them back in. I should have brought some more leaves. Let me see if this tomato plant next to me has got some leaves. And I'm going to put them back in here. I might just grab some wood chips. I just took some, I just took some stuff off the ground. That's all I did. So just so it's not so wet and you know what i told you i just pulled this off i'll put that on the bottom too this way where the water was it'll start to break this down and we want to put this back in here they're going to be upset they will they're going to leave so i want to get this picture back in before they leave this this was amazing i don't know if you remember how much was in there but so much of it is gone and remember there's that little squash i put in too the other day. I think I put it in on the garden tour. They're already devouring that. But yes, I have disturbed their home. They're not happy. I did this so we could take a quick peek. And what I'll do is I will rinse this with water and dump it out and put it back into the tote because there'll be things we don't see. I mean, look, it is just full of teeny, teeny, teeny worms. So we don't want to lose any. And we don't, you know, I mean, this is, you know, what's wonderful about this is they belong here and we want them here. So I will fill this with water and then I will water this back and get rid of all the worms that were in here and put them back in here. I'll show you what I'm going to do. But right now I got to get this pitcher back in there before they start leaving through all the holes again because they will. I'll show you how we're going to do that. Got to get the gloves off again. Give me a second. Is this not fun? You and I are doing this together. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, I do want to get this back in. I don't know if I should put anything down there while I'm doing it. Or will I change it? You know what? Just for fun. I don't want to really change anything. Okay, we're going to set this back in there. That's how easy it is to move something. 
give them something that they really like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get some water in here and dump that back in there. Let me go get some water. Isn't that gorgeous? So what I did was I just ran to a hose and I put some water in there. We wanna make sure. Uh-oh, okay, hold on. You got too many leaves in the way. I'm gonna move the plant for a minute. And the water is heavy. Remember, water is heavy. We want to make sure we get all that water back in because there are worms in there. I think we got them all. Look at that. That is it. Now we want to cover this back. Now I could put some more leaves in there, but I think I've got enough. If I wanted to, I could just reach down. They eat all this too, remember. This will make them know that we're done. Is that too cool? So that was it. So what do you think? Isn't that cool? So the picture, the reason I like that is, is because it's so easy to service. I literally walk by, lift it, drop some leaves in there, anything I'm grooming in the same container or the area, you can put this in the ground and close the lid. Nothing gets in there except the earthworms and mother nature's critters that belong in there that are making soil for us, microbes, even good bacteria. It's all in there doing what it's supposed to. I love that Maria, uh, you'll see, she's from Greece. She posts a lot on there. She could not get earthworms. And she is constantly thanking me and saying how she is growing so much on uh, next to nothing because she collects leaves and everything. And she doesn't have any earthworms, but she does have microbes. And she said, even the fruit flies and the maggots come in, they make her beautiful soil. That's the thing, if you don't have the earthworms, don't worry about it. Because mother nature has provided us with a lot of different wonderful creatures that are going to make us soil because not everybody's got earthworms. So I wanted to share that with you and keep in mind, all these containers underneath are gonna have earthworms because any place it's damp, they come there and what they're devouring under the containers basically are any plant matter. So we've got worms under there and different things eating bits and pieces of leaves that are here. I mean, look at all the ground here. It's got wood chips here and just, just stuff, all natural stuff. And yes, even the little birds come in to look around for insects and seeds. Isn't that cute? This is like one of my favorite places to sit. It's joyful. It's colorful. I love color because Mother Nature has provided us with tons of color. So why not bring in color into my garden too? So I hope I've given you an update that you enjoyed seeing. Let me know if this is what you want me to keep doing is new updates on all different things. And boy, do I have more exciting things and I can't wait to get into that watermelon. With that, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. And yes, they need a picture too. Right now they've got the big buckets in there same system, but it's growing onions. I've got a video on that too. But the pictures, I, I, all I can say is it's the easiest thing in the world to set up. Anybody can set it up. Easy, cheap, and just so convenient. Bye-bye.